Hi, welcome to the Talk of the Town. I'm Justin Riley, and we have a great show for you today. We're going to be joined by our good friend Steve from Wisconsin Business World. We'll check in with him in a little bit. Plus, some arts and crafts for adults that you can find at the Stoughton Public Library and a great place to buy some fantastic kids' apparel at a discounted rate. But first, I'm joined now by Crystal Morgan and Nathan Roberts from Powergistics. Welcome to the program, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, Justin. Good, morning. good to have you here. So, um, I understand that your company, Powergistics, is owned by the J.D. Roberts Company. That's the parent company. Can you give us a little bit of a history of the J.D. Roberts Company? Yeah, uh, G.D. Roberts. Um, oh, G.D., excuse yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. Um, G.D. Roberts, uh, we actually were started in 1870. Wow. Um, my great great grandfather started the company. He came over from Wales as a blacksmith, and uh, uh, until actually five years ago, we were located in the same stone welding shop that we started in. And uh, so we've been a manufacturer, machinist, a blacksmith for five generations. So wow, yeah, it's a pretty long history. And you said until five years ago, you were in the same building. Yeah, yeah. Wow, incredible, yep. incredible. So I mean, talk to us a little bit about what Powergistics is, and um, you know, how did the idea of Powergistics come about? Well, I mean, through the years, I mean, we've been we've manufactured you know, hundreds of things, uh, if not thousands, uh, all the way from helping canning factory uh, 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 equipment uh, people manufacture their products. And uh, we actually had a local IT director come to us, Dave Lockstein, and he said that uh, they were going one-to-one -one in the Fall River School District. And he wanted to get, um, he didn't like the carts that they were using, um, uh, and he wanted more of a wall mount uh, unit. And um, I went to, uh, I have an industrial design degree from Savannah College of Art and Design, so a prog design is my forte. And so um, it's kind of, kind of a funny story. Right before my youngest son uh, was born by C-section, I knew I had to get this done because I had dragged my feet. Sure. And uh, so the morning before we had to go, I, I just drafted this out in about four hours. Yeah. And um, anyway, we built them for him, um, and uh, a sales staff saw it. And it was all history from there. So. Very cool. And then when you say one to one, that means one computer per child in a school district. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah there's been a movement across the country where they're allowing each student in the classrooms to have a device, sure. which allows global citizenship. Uh, it allows communication skills. It gives them a resource tool um, to, to use. So it's it's spreading nationally across um, school districts. So yes. This allows them the, the storage and the charging um, for those devices right. in the classroom. Right, absolutely. So this is actually, uh, this is actually kind of a, a place for storage and for charging for yep. these devices. Okay, yep. got it. So now, who is your target audience? Like, who, who do you market these to? Right now, it's school districts. Okay. So we're, we're really getting into, uh, we're, we're going to a lot of trade shows. Um, once people see them, once school administrators and IT directors see these, they love it. We, we solve a lot of issues that, that they're currently having right now. Yes, yes, that's good to solve, solve those problems. And, and what makes this different from some of the ones that the school districts are already, um, are already purchasing? Yeah, right now carts are what everybody's purchasing. Uh, right. This is the only unit that has this vertical footprint. Right. And so this takes up a lot, more, a lot less square footage sure. in the classroom. And the fact that with the open asymmetric door, uh, the teacher can see mm -hmm. uh, from all the way across the room whether the devices have been put away and whether they're plugged in and charging, um, even if the door's shut. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we have as a major advantage over all of our competition is we are the only student-managed charging station. Um, all the rest of them have a mess of cords that hang down in a vertical footprint. Right. They get wrapped around each other. Students are trying to get out of class, so they grab number six and try to shove it into number one. Right. Then you have to replace cords, where this is all intuitive. Basically, the cord comes right off the side of the shelf and gets uh -huh. plugged right into uh, the device. Uh -huh. um, and so we're really, it, it's just, it was a brand new approach on, uh, it's solving a lot of issues they didn't realize that they, they could be solved. Yes, so. yes, absolutely. And, um, you know, I guess, uh, where can school districts go to, to purchase this? Well, right now they can purchase direct through our website at powerlogistics.com. Okay. Uh, we also work with dozens of re uh, resellers across the nation who help spreading brand awareness. Um, and we recently picked up distribution, so that's also going to help uh, spread the word more and, and get in front of more people. Awesome. 
Awesome. Well, Nathan Roberts and Crystal Morgan, thank you so much for joining us today. This is great. and it, I think it can solve a lot of problems. This could revolutionize the way that uh, devices are stored in schools. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, Justin. Don't go away. When we come back, Steve from Wisconsin Business World will join us here on Talk of the Town. Don't go away.